Right guys, welcome to Schizophrenia Question 2. We're going to be upping the stakes a bit in the next two videos, and we're going to be introducing some four markers. Remember, if you're finding the exam series useful, a like on the videos would be amazing. So, this particular question is about the validity of diagnosis and is taken from the 2020 Paper 3. Now, I think that this is a fairly tricky question because it requires you to know a study specifically about validity, which in itself isn't awful, but it also wants you to evaluate that specific study. Now, the tricky thing is that most textbooks don't specifically offer an evaluation point to a study on validity for schizophrenia. So, you need to think outside the box a little bit and use your psychology knowledge to offer some AO3 content. Okay? Now, this is what the examiner's report said after the exam back in 2020. So, they point out that you need both outline and evaluation. They also point out that outlines varied. But, you know, the majority of students manage to outline something. They have been kind, and they've allowed us to use any study linked with validity. So those include studies about comorbidity, for example. But that still doesn't solve our evaluation problem, which is what they also found in the paper, because the majority of students failed to offer any evaluation. Okay? So, the way I see it, you've got one of two ways to go if you want to use a bog standard study of validity. Okay, so by that I mean not something on comorbidity or symptom overlap or something like that. You can use a study like Rosenhan and being sane in insane places, which is a study on validity because it talks all about the whole pseudo patients being misdiagnosed and that kind of thing, which is a nice way to go. Or you could use the study by Shenow where they compared the DSM to the ICD-10, okay? Most textbooks that are being used have either one of those two studies in, if not both of them, okay? So those are probably your safest bets. And then, to evaluate it, you've either got to go for something methodological, like sample size or the lack of controls or something like that, which would be easier to do if you were going to outline Rosenhan. Or you go for something like the wider implications of the fact that the diagnosis of schizophrenia seems to be so problematic, which would probably be easier to do if you were using the Chenow study, because in the Pink Haired Girl book, that part is actually included in the evaluation point. Okay, so you have to take it a little bit and you have to expand it a bit, but it already gives you a little bit of information that kind of leads you down that route. Okay, which is nice and that's something that you can use okay so pause the video and have a go for yourself and i'm going to reveal my answer now so there you have it i've got my outline at the beginning and then i've used the analysis of the long-term implications as my ao3 so as my evaluation section okay it's not an easy question Quite a lot is needed to get the full marks, so I hope the way that I've gone through it has made sense. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section below, and I will do my best to get back to you ASAP.